Hey guys, in this video, we are going to discuss uh, how we can pull changes from report repository. So in our last video, we have uh, we have deleted some files, right? So after that, what I did is I have um, pushed that changes. So now my remote repository is updated. And if I gave git status, see there you can see your branch is up to date with the origin master. So nothing to commit. So that means, so my local repository and my report repository is in synchronized so everything is up to date so as we are aware this git multiple users or multiple developers are going to work on this so let's assume another user who created a new file and added that file here or else he have modified an existing file only for example so far this readme.md is modifying and updating from our local laptop. But let's assume you have another user who also have valid permissions on this repository and who cloned, who performed all modifications and he edit something or he modified something. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to add the file within Git. So here I'm going to say this is an edit performed by user one let's assume or let me call this user two so he's saying and um, edit by user two is a commit he's changing this is what the commit message is giving click on commit changes so now here we got a commit and uh, if you go here if you give git status so it is saying your branch is up to date with origin master and nothing to work again i'm running so it is saying your um, branch is up to date with origin master so here some modifications happened i want to get that modifications so in that case what we can use is git fetch when you give git fetch so it is going to get the changes See, there you can see uh, unpacking changes from this GitHub, like in origin, like some, some changes happened. Now you want to get all the changes to your local machine. So if you take this diagrammatically, so what I did, I'm getting the information what changes happened by using a command called git fetch. After that, I can merge this into my working directory by using a command called git merge. Again, so instead of running these two commands individually, we have a command called git pull. So as we discussed in our git terminology, git pull is nothing but git fetch plus git merge. So instead of giving these fetching and instead of giving this merging, simply you can give git pull origin master. So git pull origin master when i click on enter there you can see so it is basically involved in two steps so it is first that then it is merge that now if you observe if you give this readme dot is there let me open that readme dot file and there you can see the new edit this is an edit performed by user 2 so basically we perform that edit within this github and now in our local machine we got all the changes so git pull have an advantage over fetching then after merging so whenever you are facing any uh, difficulties you can simply give a git pull so then it is going to again you can simply give git pull so if it is that if that is not working then you can give um, origin space master whatever you are working with multiple branches so you need to care that again uh, we will discuss about that branches in our uh, coming video so but uh, when i gave git pull there you can see already up to date again if any other user or uh, performed any modification or let's assume this user removed this and he have added okay so this is an edit from user 3 so then uh, he have given a commit edit from 
user 3, then he have committed changes. Now again, if you go here, instead of giving git fetch and all simply, you can use git pull. A minute back, it have shown already up to date, but now you can see. So one file is changed, one insertion, one deletion is happened. So now if you give ls and if you open that readme, there you can see this is an edit from user three. So how many members is going to edit or if you, if you want to get the data from centralized repository, you can use command called pull. Basically, they're going to pull all the changes from remote repository. So that is how exactly you can get latest from um, remote repository. So thanks for watching this video, guys.